Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing for the past week or so. The week before that, I was doing the beef and barley stew. Week before that, I was doing some steak and potatoes. Now we're back to the chubby Italian boy day of eating, but I found a few interesting products that make it more flavorful and easier to eat myself into a food coma after I get home from my miserable day at work. So. Let me show you guys what's going on. I think you guys have seen this a few months back. It's just a bread and pasta meal with some seasonings added. So we have a naturally fermented sourdough from bread alone. You know, it's organic, naturally fermented. You know, they're not milling their own flour. They're not using filtered water. So it's not the best. Then we have some durum wheat semolina from Italy. And I just like this bread and pasta. It tastes the best. Uh, we're just melting a little bit of refined coconut oil to spread on that sourdough bread. And here I just have some filtered mineral water boiling that we're gonna cook our pasta in with a little bit of the salt from Frankie's free range meat. And on that pasta, I have two interesting sauces that we'll talk about once we go to do it. So our water's boiling, we're just gonna put some pasta in. On the bread, I usually just do about a teaspoon of coconut oil. I don't want too much fat on it, but I still want it to taste good. And after we spread the oil on, I just sprinkle some salt. And I have this garlic and herb seasoning that I also put a little bit of on. I like butter a lot, but you know, dairy has a high calcium content. It's not that great for digestion. And that's actually one of the big differences between human breast milk and cow milk is uh, cow milk has like 10 times the amount of calcium. It's actually pretty crazy. And if you think about it, cows are very big. They have very dense bones. It makes sense. They need more calcium. So I got a little curious last week and I started looking through the pasta sauce section because I was tired of eating plain pasta. And I saw two things. One was a truffle and artichoke sauce that was from Urbani Truffles. And another was an artichoke and garlic sauce from Seggiano. Now, the ingredients on both of these aren't that great. They're not organic, but I only use a small amount when I do this. So a quarter of this container of the truffle and artichoke mix, which also has like a little bit of wine, a little bit of Grana Padano cheese. And then I'll take a couple tablespoons of this too. So that's what we end up with in the bowl. I mean, the only reason I trust these to some degree is because they're both from Italy. So, you know, there's still pesticide and agrochemical concerns, just not as much. So I think a little while ago I was eating some whole organic artichokes, but they're kind of expensive and they're a lot of work to prepare. Uh, so I've just been having some of these for soluble fiber over the past few days. And these are packaged in olive oil. So I actually rinsed the olive oil off. I mean, it's not perfect, but remove some of the olive oil, at least on the outside that hasn't soaked in yet. So between everything, it only takes me about five minutes and now I just gotta kinda hang out for 10 minutes, wait for the pasta to cook, wait for the bread to crisp up in the oven. And if I feel like having protein with the meal, I've just been having some jerky and uh, since this beef jerky is so dehydrated, you know, it's one quarter of the weight of meat. So if I eat four ounces of this jerky, that's the equivalent of me eating one pound of actual beef. and uh, we have this on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Nothing added to it. Just beef. No salt, no spice, just beef. If you guys want some flavored jerky, let me know. I mean, I got probably half a dozen recipes in my head that I would want to do for jerky. This is so delicious. Never get tired of this stuff. Now, usually I do this at my computer, so I'll go upstairs for like 10 minutes. I'll drink some water kefir and have some of the jerky. And guys, this new water kefir flavor, apple lemon, is so delicious. It's like I'm drinking apple juice. And let me tell you, my friend, I am number one water kefir dealer in New York. I mean, mainly because I am only water kefir dealer. But for you, very special price, my friend. Only $11.50 entire bottle. Frankie's Free Range Foods.com. Super discount price for you, my, my friend. <laughs> now, guys, this is good stuff. Really good stuff. We make it with the Mountain Valley water, all organic ingredients. You taste the apple, not too much lemon. Very, very delicious. Very delicious. If you guys haven't tried the apple lemon water kefir, give it a shot. All right, so I'll see you guys when uh, the pasta is ready. All right, right before we take the pasta out, we're just going to take the bread out of the oven to cool off. Just nice little caramelization on top. 
So our pasta is al dente. I'm gonna fork it into the bowl here. Just a little bit of the pasta water. And then within seconds, we have a nice creamy pasta. I really love the smell of that truffle. I mean, it doesn't taste as good as it smells, but it has a nice creamy texture. So if pasta and bread wasn't Italian enough for you, we have garlic, artichokes, and truffles. You know, I haven't spent too much time on TikTok lately, and th there's a trend on there that represents the dynamic between me and some of my viewers fairly well. It goes... What are you, some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius. So you guys are like, what are you, some kind of standard American dieter? And I'm like, no, I am a genius with my bread and pasta still looking like I'm carved out of fucking steel. I mean, it is a pretty interesting contrast. Going from eating two pounds of raw steak per day to <laughs> two pounds of truffle pasta and half a loaf of bread. <laughs> so I've explained this in past videos, but when your liver is full of a lot of toxins from being on the carnivore diet for eight years, you need like something plain and bland to soak up those toxins as they pass by your liver and your bile ducts. So pasta and bread is a pretty good combination of that if you're not actually consuming more toxins with the pasta and bread, which is why we're going organic high quality. Now, will I know if I can keep this sauce in my diet soon? It's hard to tell, you know, which is why I was eating bland pasta just to be safe, because there's a chance that I might not be detoxing efficiently if there's too many negative things in what I'm eating today. If there's too much olive oil in these artichokes, if there's too much crap in that pasta sauce, that being said, truffle artichoke pasta is really fucking delicious. I mean, I was supposed to like go on vacation somewhere for a week just to get some sun so I would feel better, but I finally got that delivery at Frankie Strange Meat I was waiting for, so maybe I'll plan something soon. But now with the Omnicock variant, I don't know what, what's gonna happen, so. Well, between the truffle pasta and alcoholic water kefir, I have eaten and drank myself halfway into a food coma. So I bid you farewell today. If you guys would like to support me, you can go to frank to check out all of my businesses. You guys saw the beef jerky and the water kefir that's available on frankucrangefoods.com. And we have a variety of high quality meats and cheeses available on frankucrangemeats.com. frank Check everything out, guys. But thank you for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube may unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me guys and I will see you for tomorrow if I can come up with a recipe idea.